recording. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to Guard Academy. <laughs> um yeah, um Sergeant Taggart, would you like to do the introduction? Are they read read your your case report? <laughs> Let's skip that part to the next part there. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 three suspects. So I guess um, we rejoin the gang as uh, as Cadet um, Little and uh, Kipling have wandered off to the pub. What were the rest of you doing? Well, um, you, you have <laughs> so Pip is watching the prisoner in the main guard accommodation. Because uh, you locked him in a storeroom 
for some reason. And uh, so Bookham Johnson is watching uh, the uh, the guy who's believed to be the head of the uh, the drow. Um, I've also oh shit! I forgot to bring you over. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I I, I forgot that I had to change that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, he's in witness protection locked in the storeroom. Over here, guarded by Pip. Um, John and Kipling have wandered off to the pub. And uh, the rest of you were in the uh, in the guard building. Tiger doing his report. Uh, Worcestershire waiting for drop-ins, I guess. And... Uh, what was Dalmia doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, these ladies are and individuals, is it? Yeah, who have since given up their names to you. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, hang on. The audio is going through the wrong port for some reason. There we go. It does. It's almost as if it was rearranged from a previous game. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the alleged slaves have revealed their names to you. Yes, Siren the Bard, Kania, and Esta. I may have used a random name generator to come up with all the names. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So yeah, the uh, the the they they've given up their names, and uh, as. Uh, as you wait in the um, or talk to them casually, oh, I'm in the wrong layer. <laughs> Just staring at him. He, he he he's unconscious, so he doesn't notice. <laughs> Actually, no, he's not. He's awake now. Yeah, he he's just he's just pretending he doesn't see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. You can. We can do that now. No, it's still not a night time because Nook is in the pub. John and Kipling are in the pub. Um, I was just trying to... Mm -hmm. Funny as you say that, as a man walks through the door. And uh, Cadet Worcestershire uh, beckons in, uh, I guess, Dalmia. Would you like to join her, Katachan? Or are you just going to hang out in your own room over there? All right. All right. You're getting your blue beauty sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, would anyone like to talk to the man? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hello. I've just been traveling on the road from Fandolin, and uh, I noticed something rather odd that uh, you might 
want to note somewhere. <laughs> there appears to be there appears to be some heretics worshiping Grizzot. And it, the entire area is covered in lube. Perhaps look into that. <laughs> L lube, as in lubricant. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yep. You can put that in your heresy folder. He's reported. Yep, he wandered off. <laughs> he gave me a statement. And he left. Do something about that, it's your fucking job. <laughs> no, he just turns back around the corner again. <laughs> outside outside um Fandolin on the road the road here. I think it's called the King's Highway. Yeah, everything is covered in lube. It's just grass and rocks and it's covered in lube. I, I don't know. It's your job. <laughs> it wanders off. <laughs> I'm a bo He's a bodger. He carves wood. He makes chairs. It's, he doesn't know that. It's not his problem. <laughs> That's a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> Basically, he's reporting heresy that he noticed. Yeah. Uh, uh, put it this way, occasionally you get reports of heresy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to add those to your evidence list? You might as well um, write those on the evidence list. Seems, uh... <laughs> I got, I got to give you a folder. <laughs> Just X. X Files. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna leave the X Files next to the uh, the slave file. Yeah. Will I actually give you a document in that or? <laughs> um. I. I. Yeah, just use the evidence doc. Yeah. <laughs> That's Fandolin, PH. Yeah. You can just say lube on the King's Highway or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's the episode title. <laughs> Did you tell him? Uh, well, you could get Worcestershire to do it because he's just kind of like hanging around, not doing anything. Yeah. Is that not, not your. I'm not your fucking secretary. <laughs> and he wanders off. <laughs> he did. He wandered off with it. I angrily stormed off with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, 
as Nook is not here, um, Kipling, would you like to do anything in the tavern or would you like to wait until Nook arrives? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Carl Engerman gives you a nice uh, pint of uh, uh, white, white Pike Ale brewed across the road in the brewery. So it's the local, the local delicacy. Yeah. So John, when will I expect your tap? <laughs> He's not here to defend himself, so I'll let it go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How's work? <laughs> Why they're good? <laughs> well, of the uh, people present in the room, can you make a investigation check? You notice nothing, you're just distracted by the beer. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's not much I can do with you until uh, Nucker arrives, to be honest. Yeah. I'm uh, going to swap back over <laughs> to the rest of you. Um, I guess will we just skip to the morning? <laughs> All right. Yeah. On a chair, I just wedged it. Yeah, <laughs> wedged it to the door. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for like a Z icon. I don't see one. Yeah, he's asleep. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so what what are you doing with these lot? Are you setting them off or are they staying here? Yeah. Um, it's the next city over, so you can just send them off at Worcestershire. Just for the... Um... Bandits and what's... Yeah. The, um, you know, you'd know that. You'd know that. Yeah, there is bandits. Um... No, it's the, it's, it's the same road technically, but it's the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me grab someone from over here. Uh, I'd say it's night. As we're waiting on uh, people to return and whatnot. Worcestershire and uh, this man enter. This, this man wanders over. Hello. The uh, I hear you need your need of a coroner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I turned the storage room into a morgue. <laughs>
Yeah, it's probably misspelled because I was like, I don't know how to spell it. It's close enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no standardized spelling in medieval times. Oh. A back. Oof. Uh, the coroner has arrived. Yeah. 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 And uh, the two ladies uh, wander off with Worcestershire. However, the bard says he would like to stay and uh, like do do some stuff. <laughs> but Worcestershire is escorting the ladies to the other town. In the middle of the night, by himself. <laughs> but, uh... Siren would like to stay in the town and uh, try and make some money as a bard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll just move him over to the tavern. Yeah. He's going to sit somewhere in the tavern. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> right, I'll let you choose your beds in the building here. Um, Johnson, you're, you, get, you get a little house to yourself and Tiger is next door. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, what'd you say, Richardist? <laughs> yeah, my sister can do that. It's so weird. All right, so Johnson sleeping in the in the gar in the jail, staring at your man. Uh, the two ladies have gone to bed. Pip is sleeping in a chair, and uh, Kipling and Little are in the the tavern um once Nucker arrives we'll do that oh he's just dm'd me ah uh, he said he's going to be an hour so we might as well just do it now uh let's just say john has just passed out <laughs> from drinking too much ale <laughs> kipling what is your passive <laughs> what is your passive perception, Kitley? Ten. Okay, that's pretty neutral. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Thanks for the offering. <laughs> John's tap. <laughs> Fair enough. I just got to mark down how many beers you're ordering on this tab. How many is that now? How, how many will I say at all? Five beers. Okay, grand. Hello, sir. Thank you for the beer. Have you heard the good word of his lord and saviour, Crib? He, Kriv, looks after and loves all. Kriv is love. Kriv is light. Praise Kriv. <laughs> and Maymay? -may? Kriv is our, is our god. Come live in our community and share in 
the light of Kriv. Fair enough, thanks for the beer. <laughs> Perhaps your friend will be interested. Alright, fair enough. Well, have a good night. <laughs> He's just gonna have a sleep in the back room. Carol's like, oh, it's getting late. Maybe you wanna, you know, get going. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. As you open the door. As you open the door, you hear a deep scream. Not like a shriek, but as a uh, oof noise. Ooh. As collapsing in front of you is a, uh, a rather green skinned, a rather kind of dark green skinned individual. And uh, you notice another running away. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you can continue taking Kipling home or uh, John home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll put John in the bed by the door. There you go. You can. Wander home. Mm hmm. Oh, you're going to return to the scene. What? Oh, yeah, he's dead. You may have witnessed some orc on orc violence that was requested. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Where are you heading to? On Taggart's what? Brilliant. <laughs> Everyone else is sleeping <laughs> in the middle of the night. He just he's in his underpants, just wandering out, <laughs> wandering over to the pub. Oh, here you go. I just click and drag him. Yeah. Okay. I I add him to the pile.
more heresy. More heresy for your notes. <laughs> He did he didn't. <laughs> Go to bed, Kipling, god damn it. <laughs> Just pick a bed that's empty. No. No, Pip. Before we fast forward to the morning, Pip, would you like to claim this room or this bed that John is currently sleeping in? All right, you're just sleeping in the chair for now, fair enough. Right, the dawn arises on a new day. Time to get to work, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Callahan, as you awake, you notice outside your window, you have gathered a audience of uh, um, locals just watching you work out through the window. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you, you notice after doing your push-ups, there is ten gold pieces in it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. Taggart, uh, as you enter the uh, police station, <laughs> you notice Cadet Worcestershire has returned and he's just sleeping on the bench. <laughs> Probably because he's been up all night. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you did have him up all night. <laughs> <laughs> Reprimand Worcestershire for sleeping on the job. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. I love the little lantern as well. That's a nice touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Wizards of the Coast did issue a statement that drow and orcs are related to black people in some way. I don't know where that where they got that from, but, you know, that's on them. If they want to say that. Yeah, you know, I don't know where they got that idea from, but you know what? That's a really racist statement of them. Yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's with the coast? Jesus. What's going on here? Kipling pokes John with his quarterstaff. John just turns over. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. Frau from within the uh, back room smelling all of the eggs and bacon and sausages is like, Can I have some, please? I'm really hungry. <laughs> Can I have a nightlight? It's really dark in here. <laughs> oh no. All right. 
fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, it, it, well, you did like fucking waterboard him, <laughs> beat the shit out of him, and and John Little did kneel on his neck while he was handcuffing him. <laughs> so yeah, you, you've kind of done a lot of damage. To him. <laughs> He's really upset. <laughs> yeah. So you put him in witness. You put him in witness protection by locking him in the storage cupboard of your of your house. <laughs> As if on time, the uh, drow boss turns to Bookham Johnson and says, "I know he's in the storage cupboard." <laughs> As you do so, a, uh, a man wanders in, realises that the uh, guy's asleep, so he kind of wanders in, doesn't really see anyone around, eventually comes upon you behind the, behind the corner. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, You recognise this man. It is Azam, Azam Khazat. He is the um, Khazam... <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. It means tailor in Arabic, fun fact. Um, he is the tailor, coincidentally. Um, yeah, uh, I have the order that uh, Captain Desard gave. Yeah. He, yes. Uh, he, he ordered a bunch of half cloaks. Yeah. Um, let me find where they're hiding. Uh, I moved them somewhere so I'd find them, and I've because I've moved them, I've lost them. Oh, where did I put them? I will show you those in a moment. Um, if you want to, any particular? Uh, there should be one for each of you. I forget how many there is. Ah, here it is. Yeah, ten. Ten cloaks of protection. Well, they're half cloaks, but uh, it's plus one to your AC. Pretty much. I love the artwork ritual <laughs> so the gnome just has his hand on their butts. <laughs> Wandered off into the middle of the night with the two fucking prostitutes. <laughs> Oh no, no, he's already paid. Yeah. Hello. If if you need anything, I'm just across the road. Some fancy fabrics and whatnot. What? Oh, this this guy or
yeah, you can you can wander over to the town hall if you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, John Little can watch one of them as well. He, l l just lie him against the door and no one can get past him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, Catahan, you you could watch the other prisoner and just leave John against that door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just walk in, walks out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Right. Would you like to wander over to the town hall, was it? The, the weirdo. <laughs> so, so what's on your list? Hang on, I look at it. Is it? Yeah. Crib cult. Dead Orc, Lube, Heresy, King's Highway, Sleep on the Job. Yeah. It's just posted notes. Yeah. Just all daggered into the wall. Yeah. Your uniforms are intact. All tidy. Are you heading over to the town hall then? Mm -hmm. I think everyone is going. <laughs> Drag yourselves, dra drag yourselves over to the town hall. Yeah. Oh yeah, George. Oh, he's he's just passed out, slumped against the door, <laughs> just wedging him in. <laughs> Yeah, it's in the 
<laughs> oh, past the pub. Yeah. Um. What? What is? Um. What? <laughs> Fair enough. Um. What is uh, Johnson and Taggart's um, passive perception? Fourteen. Tiger, twelve. What's Domia's? And Kipling's is ten, isn't it? So uh, as you round this corner to head in this direction, uh, Johnson, you notice some bloody footprints on the ground. <laughs> Investigation. If you want to look at them, we can keep going. But you've noticed them because you're you've the highest passive. <laughs> Crime detected. <laughs> Yep, go ahead. Uh, Johnson, you see footprints going in this direction. They're partially bloody. Some are, some aren't, but there's part of it that's bloodied. Um, yeah, south, south. Um, Tiger, you see nothing <laughs> except the bloody footprints that are there. That's about it. Me, would you like to try an investigation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnson. Go ahead, Johnson. Make that well save. As aside uh, from what they've already noticed, tell me. Uh, um, you, you don't notice anything else. Uh, aside from what they've already said, and the same for Kipling, aside from what they've already noticed, you've noticed nothing else. Yeah, just make a wisdom save, Kipling. Or, uh, Johnson. That, that's not a success. <laughs> Johnson's armor quivers, quivers slightly. <laughs> <laughs> As you arrive at the pub, you notice a puddle of blood. <laughs> where, where the orc once was. Sorry? Oh, the wisdom. <laughs> so you're just going to kick in the door? Sure. Uh, Johnson, <laughs> can I help you? Why are you kicking in my door? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He wanders over to the cabinet. He uh he gives you the ball. <laughs> the only fans. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. But he could continue on to the town hall. Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. Mute yourself a minute. Yeah. I I'll drag you over. Just mute yourself while, while the conversation is happening behind you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So is everyone just running back to the station or is anyone going to the town hall? They seem blood and ran away. <laughs> So, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, just drag yourself over to the town hall. <laughs> Another thing for the list. Carl Engerman just shrugs and starts repairing the kicked in door. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so was it? Yep. Oh, the CSI is on the scene again. Kata Chan arrives, put on her Ray Ban aviators, and you just hear the CS Miami scream in the back. <laughs> uh, we, we, we come. You know what? Uh, yeah, just go go ahead, make an investigation check, uh, Callahan. Um, I think there is, but you don't currently have one. But uh, you could be able to acquire one from a a possibly from a merchant. There is one located here, the Ergot Trade Company. There is one located over here, the Line Shield Coster. Um, actually, coincidentally, they're on the same street, now that I noticed. <laughs> but yeah. Um, well, maybe maybe ask in the in the shop. They might know. O one of the trade. Oh yeah. Well, I can make you jump to them. So there's the Argot Trade Company over here, and then there's the Line Shield Coster over here next to the uh, town hall. It is. It is run by, yeah. Uh, save what like five gold pieces. Yeah, that's off the top of my head. I will reveal that room and we'll return to um, you in a moment, Ritualist. As uh, the guys have just entered the town hall and they've come upon. It's me, Clerical Officer Cobb. <laughs> With two peas and not the legume kind. How can I help you? He, he's the clerical officer. He's an assistant, basically, to the alderman. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have a, a like a secretary's desk, except the desk in the corner. But there's a massive table for the meeting, the meetings. And. As a, of a what? Of Robocop. <laughs> what, what's a Robocop? 
Never heard of him. He must be of the Southern Cops. I'm with the Western Cops. <laughs> Jesus. You also notice a glorious image of the Emperor. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the only man. Yeah, I could get him. Just a moment. Take a seat. You hear him wandering down the hallway. And just uh, in the background, just some knocking and whatnot, some faint mumbling. You hear a, oh fuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hello. All right. My name is. Alderman Johnson. <laughs> uh, I had arrived, but I'm not ready yet. What mess did you get into? Slaver gang. I've no time for peasants. He just he just kind of cuts you off and wanders over to the fire and warns himself. What do you want? Just make it go away. That I've I've no time for peasant shit. I I've. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, you have them? You have the slavers? All right, you know what to do. Execute them. Uh, some you say some heresy bullshit. Yeah. You get the impression that this guy thinks he's better than you. And he wanders off. Just fucking do your jobs. Don't make it my problem. <laughs> yeah. Also for future reference for future reference, this is the guy you have to get warrants off. Yeah, if you want a warrant to raid a building, it was him. No, you've not. <laughs> But he didn't. He didn't seem to care. <laughs> yeah, he didn't seem to care as long as you weren't bothering him. Yeah, he's a bit of a prick. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Clerical officer cough. <laughs> oh, 
Before you continue, b b b yeah, I, 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 I was just about to say, before you continue that, Don Mio, um, I'm just going to cut over here to uh, the Ergot Trade Company, where Catahan has just wandered in. A man sitting and slumped in a chair, just kind of jotting down notes, suddenly notices you enter the building and jumps up eagerly. Hello, miss. How can I help you? Yeah, he's rather well dressed, and uh, uh, the room appears to be filled with like containers and crates, and he's even using a crate as a desk because this room really doesn't have much in it other than equipment and a bed for him. But other than that, it's not much furniture in this room. Just a chair and a bed. Tons of crates. How can I help? Hmm. I just so happen to have one. It was uh, ordered by someone who never sh never showed up. So uh, it's yours for uh, ten gold pieces. <laughs> I got. I got. I need to uh, get up the a, a sheet for him <laughs> to, to start rolling some dice. <laughs> So I'll just say nine. So I, I was gonna say make a charisma check. Oh, persuasion. Yeah. Well, I gotta roll for him anyway, but it's not gonna work. So yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, fair enough. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Uh, I think investigation is intelligence. Right. Just intelligence kit. Yeah, just uh, investigation kit, intelligence. I don't think you've, you 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 won't have proficiency in it, but uh, you can get proficiency in it later. But basically, using down downtime activities, which takes ten days, and you can learn to use it. You can still use it without without that. You just don't get um, the, a bit of an extra buff to it. Jack of all trades. Oh, did you? Oh. Mm hmm. All right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Right. Are, are you. What are you doing now? Are you. Mm hmm. All right, have a good day. Yep, you can make a investigation roll or investigation kit roll or Yep. Would anyone like to add to that? You know, whatever you whatever you roll will add to the ten. So that's twenty three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mhm. Ah. Yeah. A uh, uh, passive perception is a separate thing altogether, but yeah, it um, that sounds like there was extra stuff to add there. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's that? Hang on. Let me get my calculator out. So we've got ten. Thirteen plus thirteen plus seven. So. So, so uh, as you're all standing in a circle, Katachan arrives, puts down the kit on the ground, and takes out a magnifying glass, and then puts on her glasses. <laughs> you get the CSI Miami scream as all of the events in the past 12 hours suddenly appear in transparent in front of your faces, like like that flashback gave for the woman is solving the the physics equation <laughs> as you're solving the uh scene there appears to have been a struggle here at the crossroads <laughs> jesus there appears to have been a struggle here at the crossroads where two individuals fought they were of rather large build one of them was shoved in this direction there appears to be blood spatter on the side of the building and blood spatter over as far as the big puddle of blood and you believe this to be the orc who was stabbed and fell back and dropped down the weapon was not in him so the weapon must have gone with the guy who some somehow bloodied his feet as he ran from roughly here um, in this direction And you can tell that both individuals were orcs. And this is a case of nefarious orc and orc violence. You, you also would be aware that orcs are banned within the Empire. Half orcs being a very rare exception, but orcs are absolutely banned. And it is incredibly rare It is uh, it is incredibly rare to uh, come across an orc within the Empire. They somehow sneak in um, by landing ashore and go venturing inland. These two may have recently arrived, and uh, yeah, that's all you really can really gather because you're kind of going on what you can see here. Go raiding again. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, you can remember. You can just remember, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna swap over to, to Taggart heading into the police station to try and bring the other guys in. In the meantime, you did know you you have noticed the uh, second pair of tracks, but we'll return to that in a moment. Um, right. So, Taggart, you enter the police station to find Pip asleep on the job. It's almost as if the short people in the gang just are lazy and just hang and just sleep around the place. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, the... <laughs> what are you, are you trying not to piss yourself? Is that it? T- ten. Well, I'll, I'll give you an advantage if, we're, if you want to roll again. Yeah. Just roll that one more time and count it as advantage. Yeah, that, that, that one was significantly better. You managed to not piss yourself in fear and or puke. We need to make some space. Stop. <laughs> the but the the great siege of Clinton, where you, your squad was attacked and broken apart by orcs. In the net. <laughs> Some fun hassle the populace. <laughs> Turn to them in the south here. Right. So, between the bakers and the carpenters, you've come across a second set of footprints. You reckon the blood from the blade or whatever was used to uh, kill the other orc had uh, been dripping onto his foot or whatever and creating footprints. Carpenter, yeah. Hello. Well, I heard some shouting outside, and someone rushed down the road, but that was about it. No, well, there was some the, the sheep that got driven down this morning. Other than that, no. Mm-hmm. Which which house? This one. Okay. Let me let me do a little bit of revealing on the uh, the walls to at least reveal. Yeah, as you're doing another raid without a warrant. <laughs> so this building. Well, the mayor didn't give a shit at that moment. <laughs> Doesn't mean he mightn't give a shit in the future. So let me grab the arrow. So there is a doorway here and a doorway here. Uh, this this building is made from stone. This one is wood. They are they're joined, um, as you can see. They uh, there are two windows on this wall, one on this wall, one on this wall. There's a window there, and I believe a window over here. This is the bakers, and uh, as you uh, as you stand here, Bookham and uh, Taggart, you notice smoke raising from the chimney. Mm-hmm. If if you stand, a Bookham is standing close enough to it that to realize that it's warm. There is. A,
Anything suspicious? Um, no, you just smell baking of bread, pies, whatnot. Yes, it's the bakery. I just moved on me a second. It's bakery, bake, baker. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seeing the SWAT tactic, Carpenter's gonna wander inside. <laughs> Noticing that something's going down, he's like gonna hide. <laughs> You, you were a butcher in the next town over, but you have been here before. And you've been in this town uh, 10, 10 weeks, so you've met the baker before. His name is Frank. His name is Frank. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what would you like to do? Are you are you raiding the building or are you knocking on the door? <laughs> mm -hmm. A SWAT stack doesn't mean a SWAT stack doesn't mean you sit on each other's shoulders. <laughs> right. So you're gonna knock on the door. Yep. Yep. You can, yeah, no, it's morning. Yeah, you wander in. There's an... appears to be no one there. This door is open. This door is ajar. Oh, yeah, I'll be waiting a moment. Yeah, the moment, a, a minute or two passes, and then Frank Baker enters from the back room. How can I help you, Pip? Good, good. Oh, yeah, follow me. You know, he just says follow me and he wanders into the back room. You know, you enter the back room. This is the bakery. In fact, he is just about to open the stall at the front so that you can uh, buy things in, in the window. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You get all the good stuff. How can I help you? Yeah, there was some loud screaming outside and uh, some sort of struggle. And uh, I think I seen um, kind of shortish badger man outside. And kind of like hung around inside my house for a bit and then he wandered off. All right, fair enough. How... <laughs> Still having John pay for his drinks, I assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, one gold, and he'll uh, give you the usual. He hands you a nice big sourdough loaf. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Oh, yeah. If you need any bread, you know where I am. I'm just going to reveal the window around so you can see the bread <laughs> that he's selling. He's uh, busy r wrestling a sheep into the water, try and wash him off. And Fleecer is. Where are you? 
uh, over here, this, that is a, oh, here, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, that's the Ram Ranch stables and the, and the Haggards slash Croft, or Corral, I mean, yeah, oh, this thing here, oh, yeah, that's the, this is the showers at Ram Ranch, as you can see, they've been used quite often. Yeah. Yeah, it's been used uh, quite often as a, uh, a beating spot after hours, and never rarely gets cleaned. So. Um. Um. Mister. Master Ram. Of of Ram Ranch. Own, owns the Ram Ranch. He, he he doesn't live in the town. He lives outside the town. But oh, they have a they have a train, a chain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where over here? Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Oh, you, you already did make a perception check. I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, you do. No, I noticed something. Um, let me orientate that in the correct manner. Hang on, let me make that bigger to make sure it's the right way around. They are, in fact, the right way around. Okay. Yep. And with a perception check that high, and a stealth check that shit. <laughs> You notice someone attempting to hide in the bushes really badly. <laughs> oh, he's in the bush, but yeah. <laughs> um. Yep. You blow the whistle. Okay. You're if you're gonna do that, you're gonna need to. <laughs> you're gonna need a new initiative order. <laughs> right. Let me start adding people to the initiative. Uh, unless you want to click on your token and roll initiative, which would do it for me. Yeah. Didn't you get like the feat that gives you a massive buff? Right. Are you there, uh, Ben? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, I'll just add you. Oh, hang on. Everything is breaking on me. Oh. There we go. 15. Right. So... Sergeant Taggart, you've just heard a whistle bin, an alarm whistle going off. Mm -hmm. um, it consider it um, rough terrain because you have to try and maneuver around all the sheep. Let's see, yeah, yep. Go ahead. Yeah. Be aware as well that there's a high tier, so that will you'll also have to try and climb that in your next turn. Yeah. Um, right. So I guess that's your turn. Yep. Uh, noticing that he has uh, been spotted, the orc will uh, rush out and attempt to. Slash at you, uh, Katachan, with his great axe. What is your AC? Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, so that's a hit. Roll damage. You've been hit for six damage. You've been you you've been knocked unconscious. Luckily your helmet managed to save you. Feline agility. Let me have a look at your card sheet. Uh, a lot of these guys get in really lucky hits and really high damage rolls. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, cap Feline agility. You can move up to burst speed and help reflex agility because you don't have to double. You can move double speed basically. Uh, it, it, that's a movement thing that doesn't do anything when uh, being attacked. Yeah. You know what? I'll make. I'll, I'll allow you to either do a perform or a dexterity save to attempt to. To to escape. To 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 try and take out damage. Yeah. Go go for it. Yeah. Dexterity save or performance, whichever. Yeah, no, you fail. You failed. <laughs> you attempted to get out of the way, but you just put yourself more in the way. Though luckily your helmet uh, catches it, and you're not dead, you're just knocked the fuck out. Yeah. So. I guess that's the orc's turn. Welcome, Johnson. What would you like to do? Yep. You you could move at double your speed, you just can't take an action at the end. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and I assume that's your turn then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay. Pip, what would you like to do? Go for it. With your spear, um, are you looking at your character sheet? You should see the, oh, you've already done it, no mind. Uh, yeah, that is a four to hit against his AC, which is, you know what, I'll say the number, so to give you an idea, which is 13, so that's a miss. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do? You still have a movement. <laughs> You're gonna attempt to hide in the bushes, okay? <laughs> oh, you just j dive into the the ditch, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. Dalmia, five feet of you. Yeah. So, uh, Dalmia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure. <laughs> hey Nuka, they are currently fighting orcs. If you want to jump in and uh, if you want to go and uh, 
you, you, you were you were left behind guarding Frau, but you can wander over and help if you want, or you can stay in. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to join the fight, um, roll initiative, and I'll add you to the next uh, the next round. Um, right, so <laughs> so Dalmia, I assume that's your turn. Uh, oh, you're in the um, in the in the guard the guard barracks. I'll, I'll just ping you so you can find it. You got really drunk in the pub and passed out. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's very dark in here. I didn't say that, I said it was dark. <laughs> the mean little halfling farted on me. Kipling, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes glow red. <laughs> So so what are you what are you doing, Kipling? Yep, make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh the the or pauses and just looks at you. And it would be kind of chance go, however, she's knocked unconscious. <laughs> Sergeant Tiger. Yep. Um, you could probably easily do it, but with the athletics. <laughs> yeah, you could pull wall up. And because your lettuce was so high, I, I won't I won't count it. I, I because your lettuce was so high, I'll I'll um count that as a uh, as or I won't count that as a uh, rough terrain. So you can easily pull vault up and get over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm Uh, the building is about just under 10 feet, so uh, no, you, can, you can get on the roof with, with, with uh, athletics. I'll count it in the same roll. No, I'll count the same roll. Yeah. yeah. You can climb on the roof. Yeah. Yep, I'll just move you. I'll, I'll move you. I'll move you there so you're on the roof. Yeah, you you hear John Fleecer behind you shouting, oh, "I can't get off my roof!" <laughs> right. Yep, it is the orc's turn. The the orc because. He, the orc, because he was convinced to uh, 
to stop fighting, just kind of stands there confused for a moment and wait and wastes his turn being confused. Sergeant Johnson. Go ahead, make a roll. Nice, that's a hit. Roll damage. Yep, that's five damage. Well, you rolled up the wrong dice. Just hit the word bar just hit the bar mace in the in the side chat. There you go. Eight bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. Yep, sure. Yep, I'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I'll um, have a look at that in a second. And so you shove him into the brambles. He uh, He takes an additional... You know, I'll, I'll make it a D6. Where is it? D6. Fuck. <laughs> he takes an additional one damage. As he, uh, as he gets, uh, gets pricked on, on all the, uh, the briars. Um, I don't see your, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, on this round when I get to you, I'll do it. Um, I'm just gonna add, gonna add Nuka to the to the thing. Chlorophyll, yeah. Uh, these orcs aren't in plants. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put John Little over here as you were coming to uh, wander over to see where they were, and uh, you noticed the guy. You, you noticed the guy selling selling fresh baked goods, and you got a sausage roll, and you're munching on your sausage roll as you round the corner, and see this. <laughs> yeah. So I. Actually, your your thing is fifteen as well, so I'm just going to add you to the initiative order there above uh, Johnson. So Johnson just shoved him, so that's his turn. It's now your turn, John, as you munch on your sausage roll. Uh, it's twice your movement, which should be thirty. So sixty. Yeah. Yep. No, you can just move there. Go ahead. You just can't. You, you can just move there. You just don't get an action. You use your action to move. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. You know what? You know what? To do it and then make a strength check. <laughs> yeah, make a strength check to see if you can uh, whack him, even though he's already lying down in the in the, br in the brambles. You uh, strike at him for ten. Uh, do another roll because uh, yeah, do another one because you have advantage because he's prone. There we go. That one hits him. <laughs> um, so what are you doing? Were you grappling him or are you hitting him? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you could try and shove him, but 
you could just grapple him with that. <laughs> He's prone. Yep. Okay. So let's uh, let's say you've grappled him. Okay. He is now grappled. I I don't know. I'm making it up because I I, I don't know what the rule is for that. <laughs> I look it up later. But for now, you have you have ran at him and rugby tackled him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I like how it makes a Buddhist symbol. Yeah, I, I like how it makes a a, a Buddhist symbol. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Um, before I, uh, before I finish your turn, um, are we finish your turn, uh, John? Um, just add plus one to your, um, AC because you got cool cloaks. You were all issued cool cloaks. Yeah. Yeah, you were issued. Ha you were all issued half cloaks to uh, help with your AC because your AC is so crap. <laughs> right, Pip, what are you doing? As you cower in the hall. Yep, he's been rugby tackled. Yep, do it with uh, roll with advantage, or roll twice if you don't want to do that. Yep. 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 So let me see. Um Jesus. Um, Dom, can you roll again? You have advantage, so you can roll a second time, and then you pick the highest of them. There you go. That's a hit. Uh, roll. Um, either click on the word spear in the side chat, or uh, roll a d6 for damage. Nice. So you have a spear. So that's a d6, and you have plus one, so that's six damage. That is coincidentally is <laughs> the exact amount of health he left. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You catch him in the eye. Yep. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, well. Well. Yep. Uh, Cannon Chan. I was going to say we can skip forward to Tiger jumping off the roof, in which case Cannon Chan can wake up. You have you have one hit one, oh, one second. Um, Kanachan, you'll have one HP, one hit hit point, and you can wake up. Um, Tiger, roll athletics to dive off the roof, and you probably shouldn't be able to make. You know what? That's pretty high. You... <laughs> what are you drop kicking, Tobia? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it is quite far, so go ahead, go ahead, drop kick. Okay, roll, roll an, roll an unarmed attack as you dive off the roof and drop kick him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a hit. Now roll damage, four damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna move you over here as you. Hang on, uh, how do I move to front? Yeah, as you drop off the roof and drop kick him, he uh, he went from unconscious to dead. <laughs> as you, as as uh, John Little feels his neck snap in his arms. <laughs> All right. So, initiative, I guess, is over. 
And you now have another dead body in your hands. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, there there is kind of a crowd. Like, the 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 people like watching from the corner. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> There's, there's people like just like what the fuck is happening over here? <laughs> oh, oh, is that some police? Is this, is that some police brutality happening over there? <laughs> Did he? Oh, he did, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But, but, by the way, by the way, you, you can, you can recover his great axe and his uh, hide armor. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. I had to close the window. There, there's so many people on the screen, I had to close the window so the camera could see you. <laughs> no, they're just like working over here and they just heard all the screaming, so came to have a look. <laughs> yeah, Peter Crofter is going to return to his sheep and mind his own business. Um, what are they doing? 16, yeah. Callahan, you can get, um, you can get three more HP back. Thanks to, uh, Johnson giving you a sensual massage. Oh, oh, oh whatever the hell he's doing. Yeah, a bit of whiskey in the car. <laughs> oh. The magic sponge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean hit him with your with your club? What's a Glock? Where where did that come from? <laughs> oh, are you saying he was Epstein as well? Yeah. <laughs> in the context, I was just going to say in the context of this game, because Nucka wasn't here, Epstein means feel incredible guilt, get stripped naked, and just kill yourself. <laughs> yep, head back to the station. Gonna grab you and pull you back, pull you over. <laughs> A celebratory sausage roll. <laughs> oh, it's Frank Baker. Yeah. 
Mhm. Mm <laughs> oh. I love the drawing. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Right, head over to the police station and, uh, Right. <laughs> yeah, he did give. Is there anyone you particularly want to frame? <laughs> Jesus. What? Oh, uh, justicial. You, you want some justicial combat? You can use the Haggard for that over by the Ram Ranch. Yeah. The Haggard over by the. Uh, Two. <laughs> well, he, he was he was trying to. <laughs> he was trying to. <laughs> now he's catching up with the amount of work he has to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I don't know. Just a second. I'm trying to find the uh, a thing. Draw there. Draw there. He is. Okay. Right. I'm gonna have that in the side window so that when you wrestle them, I have it open already. Right. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, the person who normally works here would have been Peter Crofter, who you know is down by the river. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's say you, you send uh, this fella. Hang on, I grab him. I'm just going to move Peter up first. You send Arthur Carter, who lives in the thing here next to you, and he went up. <laughs> he wanders off and he gets your man and comes back and goes back to work. And then Peter's like, yo, what's up? Yo. Your bar tab? Oh, sorry. I thought it was to do your bar chat. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sure. Yeah, just continue buying me pints like you did last night, and that's fine. Yeah. You, 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 you might want to, you know, pay that tab because, you know. <laughs> yeah, while you were away, they may have uh, put a massive tab on you in the bar. <laughs> Fair enough. People start gathering for the. People start gathering. Okay. Oh, you want the two of them? Yeah, sorry. I was looking at something else. Uh... Hang on, I'm just, I'm just going to continue grat. Oh, there's some people are coming in. Um, I was going to... So uh, this man approaches you, Katachan. I'll, uh, I'll get to that in a moment. How much are you charging ahead? Well, people are showing up anyway because they're right next to where they live. So they're not, they've not paid anything yet. <laughs> Gonna grab a couple of random random NPCs. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? I I'll I'll just tell you straight up, you make a hundred and fifty gold pieces from donations. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
but before you start doing anything i, I want to know what uh johnson are you coming over as well or are you just gonna wait over there yeah 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 that crow has been there a while we, we'll um now i was wondering did you want to watch the fight as well Where is your character gone? Hang on. Where... Oh, I see him. He's in the pub. He's... <laughs> he was in the pub. Hang on, I got him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Pip wandered off to the pub. Hang on. Let me get Sargon as well. Let me get Sargon. And uh, let me get these boys too. Yeah, a lot, bunch of people are gonna come and watch. Oh shit! Yeah, there, there. Mhm. Mm yeah. Do you want to do your thing first? No, I mean his his thing over there at the um the, cr the crow. Let's do the crow thing first while well, they gather a crowd together. So they're gathering the crowd. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What did you roll? Fifteen. Oh, so the crow notices the shiny coin and comes over to you, and as it gets close to you, it uh, it speaks and says, "Ooh, shiny!" Hang on, I might be accidentally moving past it for some reason. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to move this, and there's too much shit on my screen. Ah, uh, here we go. So the crow <laughs> drops its form momentarily and appears to have not have been a crow at all. Can you, I'll just make it bigger so you can see it. It's an imp. Nope, it's an imp. It's a tiny little devil thing. Tiny little fiend. But cannot master said I'm not supposed to say. I like shinies though. Okay, I already watch. I watch for master. I watch. I watch the policeman, and he wanders off. <laughs> yes, yes, for shinies. <laughs> he wanders off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, I just I just reiterate what I said as well because it seemed to have gone over your heads. He, he said he's watching the police. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You, you can't see anything from there, Bookham, because there's a building here. Okay, they probably move over here, though. There you go. Actually, these people can't see because there's a building. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. um, so, Kanachan, the man standing next to you here is, in fact, the, the man from the DOS house that you met previously. He wanders over, gives you a nod. Hello again. What's happening here? Mm hmm. Oh, that's them. Oh, oh, sweet. Mm hmm. Fair enough. The uh, the two drows stare at each other, not looking too happy at each other. <laughs> he shakingly and piss while pissing himself steps forward. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, fair enough. You can find a belt somewhere. So, uh, I, 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 as yeah, I, I want you to roll initiative. Uh, I, I was trying to decide what he's going to do. Um, roll initiative. I need to quick bring up the initiative things. There it is. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, you, you rolled a. Uh, Okay, what was that? It's, it's, what did you get? Seven. So the very first thing he does as you get ready to uh, wrestle him is he attempts to run away. <laughs> and he jumps the fence. <laughs> yeah, you can just tackle him. <laughs> You can fuck him back in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's his turn. Yeah, it's your turn now. <laughs> yeah. So I, I rolled the dexterity to see if he if he thought he'd make the escape. Yeah. Yep, that's a hit. Roll damage. Also, bear in mind, he's not wearing any armor because you've stripped it off. Yep. Roll damage. Uh, you get plus three to your unarmed strike, I think. Yeah, look, you have plus four. Yeah. Uh, that is three bludgeoning damage. Uh... Oh, that's 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 the advantages to hit three bludgeoning damage. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you do three damage. Okay, I guess that's your turn. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just going to quickly try and find the unarmed strike rules because I know I have them somewhere. Just so I can try and figure out what his is going to be. Okay, so it's just strength modifier plus one. So 12 plus one, so 13. So what's your uh, AC? Yep. Okay, he misses. Yep, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep, with advantage. Uh, 
Uh, you just roll twice and I pick the higher one. Disadvantage is the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, it's 21. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a hit. Roll damage. Mm-hmm. Did you roll damage? I don't see the damage roll. Did you roll damage? I don't see the damage roll. Oh, okay, you just rolled strength and yeah, that will count the strength as your damage. Yeah. Yeah, it's 22. You, uh, you know what? To, to make it fair for him, I'm gonna half that. And even so, it knocks him the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. E e even though I've half to damage, it's it still isn't enough to knock him out. Yeah, he's not dead. He's just unconscious now. Yeah, go ahead. And uh, now he's dead. <laughs> yeah, broke his neck. Oh, that's a crit. His head. You've just popped his head off. Mm hmm. And I assume you toss his body aside. With all the screaming outside, the uh, the alderman from the window she screams, Shut the fuck up! Keep the noise down! In whose direction? You threw it in whose direction? Oh, it's it's the alderman. <laughs> it's your it's he's over here. Uh, it, it it goes straight up in the air and comes down and knocks you on the head, costs you one 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 health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that 20 it's 23 as well which is double it should have been double damage but I don't think it is double damage because it's a uh, unarmed strike but yeah uh, okay tiger are you wearing your armor I assume Mm hmm Are you armed? Are you armed, yeah? Yeah, roll your initiative and I'll just delete the uh, John and throw. Oh, he's very confident. Oh yeah. Yeah, my ancestors smile upon me, Imperial. Could you say the same? As he fails <laughs> with his initiative. He's overconfident. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Roll your... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, your arm. Okay, go ahead. Roll your attack. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, roll damage. You're all damage. As he's showboating, you nail him. Uh, it should have. 
Oh, it, it, it's your strength modifier plus your other modifier. The modifier, hang on, I have it here next to me. Uh, oh yeah, because you have your proficiency in it. So it's your strength modifier plus proficiency, so 3 plus 1 is 4, and then plus 1 uh, from the, the unarmed strike. Uh, so that's 5. So it should have automatically calculated it twice, but it didn't for some reason, so yeah, it's 10. So you've just done 10 damage to this this guy as he... As he as he completely underestimated you. <laughs> yeah, it's his turn, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how how I do that. I think it's strength plus one. Yeah, so I got rolled a one plus one. He swung at you, and he misses. <laughs> uh, you can make it. You can make an attack on him with advantage now because he missed. Yeah. Make a strength check. Make a strength or athletics check to try and pick him up. Yeah, you picked him up. You've picked him up over your head. Yeah. Yep. He's... Yeah, you break his spine on your knee and he's dead. Yeah. And the crowd starts cheering and they're yay. And uh Johnson, you're uh Johnson and Taggart, as Taggart is flexing, you both notice in the crowd there are two individuals who are not supposed to be in the Empire. <laughs> yeah. There's two hobgoblins in the crowd. There's two hobgoblins in the crowd. Goblins are not welcome. Sorry? They are from here. They were the initial... Um, they're the indigenous people of this land. Technically, they're not welcome. So they're not illegal. They're just... It's very rare that they're allowed into towns. Well, in the very, very old way, but yeah. It's it's not illegal. It's just frowned on. Mm. Mm -hmm. You also notice, Pip, as you're that close to them, they're wearing badges, as in uh, a badge of a certain uh, company. <laughs> now they're wearing little patches on their armor that is uh, it's gre a green shield with a uh, a white serpent on it. This individual here next to them is also wearing the same symbol. Oh, fuck off. Racist cunt. Alright, I'll fight you in the ring, you little shit. I'll fight you in the ring. Hello, sir. We are the people of Kriv. Would you like to join us? And come and live in our commune. Yes. My name is Harry Carey. Would you like to come and live with the people of Kriv? <laughs> We are all of the above. We are the people of Kriv, and my associates here are, well, the followers of Bloodsword. Uh, 
I might need to walk. Oh, Carol is in the way. Okay. Carol is going to wander off and take a shit. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the merchant, uh, your cousin actually, uh, book him. Merchant Johnson wanders past you, gives you a smile, keeps going, wanders back to work. <laughs> Everyone slowly goes back to work. <laughs> Cult? Yes, that would be me. Lube, however? No, that's not us. I I see, sir, th this, this rather well-dressed man next to you. Just says, I see, sirs, there appears to be a uh, situation here. I wonder if I might be of service. It, no, he's a noble. He's just some noble who happened to be present. No, he's nothing to do with this situation. He's just making himself involved. He's trying to help. Yeah. Exact exactly. Mm-hmm. My name is Raul Hiyagi. My name is Raul Hiyagi. I am a, I am a burger of Wallachia. No, he's uh he is from the Romanian land to the north. <laughs> yeah. Uh can you make an intimidation check while I make a uh a wisdom against a wisdom save to see if you scare him. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> He just smiles at you. He's he's uh, been threatened before by police. He does not care. <laughs> oh, I care not for those, for them. I do care, however, for uh, a. What has given you the suggestion that these men are violent? Very well. I do. I'm not, I'm not concerned for these people. However, I am concerned with abuse of authority. I am not from here, but very well. I can be found at the White Pike Tavern. And he wandered off. <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't see. I didn't see your perception check. Uh, yeah, you just notice he's a rich guy. He has a cane, and he just wandered off. He was trying to be polite, but he kind of came off a bit smug, put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you put it this way, you get the impression he was trying to be friendly. I am a loyal fo follower of Kriv. Would you like to join the people of Kriv? Of 
Kriv is the best god. Oi, Malty cunt, fight me in the ring. I should specify this guy is not doesn't appear to be armed, but these this guy has a sword and shield and this guy has a glaive. So they are armed. Well they aren't suspicious individuals. Would you like to join the people of Kriv? And come and live in our commune in the in the forest. <laughs> it is both Harry and Gary. Do you have a map? I can mark it on your map. Uh, I will mark it on your map for you. <laughs> I'm just going to swap you over to the map. So, he points out on the map that you are at the... Hang on, I get the thing. So you are currently here in Neverwinter. The King's Highway is here. The Loop Place is somewhere along here. And uh, he points out Thunder Tree, which is over here. Yep, yeah, pretty much there. <laughs> I see pastas turning into his leader of the cult of Griff. <laughs> oh, in in another uh, guy's um, pastafari plays as Luther, the leader of the cult of Griff. <laughs> That is a good question. There is only one, uh, from from your point of view, there is only one true faith, and that is the God Emperor. Any other any other religions are false and are heretical. Okay, hang on. What are you doing? Ping, uh, just ping yourself and I'll uh, come find you. Yeah, cool. And the carpenter shouts from out the back that he's out back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure, Captain Lissard actually had already asked for some. He has them over here and he just goes and fetches them. They're prepaid for. Are you making some artwork or something? Um, your cousin, I guess, um, Merchant Johnson over at the Lion Shield Coster. Your family home, by the way, is next door, just the Johnson residence. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. He he um he reminds you that um such a thing should be reported to the uh, the uh, Inquisition. Mm -hmm. No, he 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 paints the signs anyway, but he reminds you to report that to the Inquisition. Heresy is not the the heresy isn't the place necessarily of the Constabulary. Heresy is the place of the Inquisition. 
However, when you hear stuff, you kind of pass it on just to not make it your problem and to be seen to be doing it so you don't get investigated as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll insight. It's in the middle somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't have to... Um, yes. Because he's blatant about it. <laughs> he he is not showing any remorse for being a heretic. These two guys don't seem too interested in the religious aspect, but they are dressed in the same well are dressed in in a similar manner, they have the same patch. Oh, I am a heretic, but yes, I will play cards. He blatantly admits it. Right. I think Bookham is knocking on the door of the uh, the town hall, so I'm just going to reveal that. No, oh. why is this not working? There we go. The the door is open. It's me, Officer Cobb. Clerical officer cop to you, Bookum. <laughs> Fair enough. Assume you want to mark as urgent. Harry Gary, it is. Well, I'll have it sent at sundown. What's all the noise outside? Oh, very well. He is a busy man, doing whatever the hell he does inside there. Does lock himself in the room for hours at night. I do hear moaning noises too. <laughs> yeah. He does have some weird guests at night, but I don't question it. It's not my place. Very well. Oh, sweet. You're not so bad after all. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's head over to the, the tavern. Mm-hmm. He wants to play some Uno with Harry Gary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The two guys just kind of loom over Pip. 
<laughs> what are you doing, Pip? They kind of brush past you and just wander off. I see you just like leaving a trail of corpses around the place. <laughs> Um, what did you, what did you say, Ritualist? What did you say, Ritualist? Yeah. Well, I, I was going to start trying to wrap it up, but uh, I'll let Pasta do his thing. Mm hmm mm hmm So, while uh, you're back in the police station, Bookham enters to see Raul... Rule, um, sitting, hanging out by the fire, warming himself. Your uh, friend, uh, Crin, uh, uh, the bard, is playing music. Carl Engerman is wandering around, cleaning tables and uh, serving ale. And Harry Gary, sitting in his chair in the corner, awaiting eagerly as Kipling enters behind you. Grab a seat. Mm -hmm. Let's throw you over there. Move you to the front so that you're in front of them. How can I help you? Oh, is that what that was? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. But before you leave, he uh, he kind of gently grabs your arm and as if he has something to say to you. I'm here looking for someone. You might be of assistance to me. Are you interested? Well, when I say someone, I don't, I don't literally mean a person. Do you know the name of the Count of Neverwinter? Um, you you would know the name normally, however. Upon being asked that question, you've suddenly noticed that since the the Battle of Clinton, no one has been able to remember his name. Even though he's alive and well, no one has been able to remember his name. In fact, anytime everyone has to say his name, they awkwardly pass it off as if they're just not saying his name, but no one like they're being polite basically that they've forgotten his name don't you think it's strange that no one remembers his name Oh, so the, the, is Damia going to the coroner? Okay, yeah. All right, Carl. So as you... <laughs> he enters you as you enter. He he, he just rolls his eyes, not more. <laughs> the the barmaid leaves. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, he's been staying in the back room. I, I did think it kind of odd that uh, 
there's two hobgoblins hanging out with him, but uh, you know, he is spotting blatant heresy, and I I prefer to stay out of it. He looks at the four gold and he just looks back at you and he just kind of shakes his hand as if to give him more. And he just says, they're paying me a lot more than this. Oh, fair enough. Are you not paying for no because I like a whole be in a tab with it? <laughs> he did, yeah. Yeah. Are you there, Nuka? Have you wandered off? Oh, who did you say, Raul, was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Nuka, um, I was just wondering what you're doing while this is happening. Yeah, just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Raul. Yeah, Raul is going to come with you back to the station. He's going to grab a seat. <laughs> yeah, so everyone is back at the police station except Kipling. Kipling. Uh, before we continue with that conversation, we'll just deal with Kipling. Kipling, what we, what are you doing? Are you playing Uno with? Yeah. So how do you want to? How do you want to? How do you want to do that? Sure. Roll a one d six. One d six. Oh fuck. I always roll well on rolls that don't matter. I'm having the, the, the experience Nuka had in the last session. <laughs> you don't even gotta roll, you just get up and walk out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, roll a 1d6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, okay, so you you lose the game. So so you you declared he's innocent then. So, even though he's blatantly admitted and uh, all the evidence points to him being guilty, even though he admits it as well. You've determined that he is not guilty. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, yes. Praise Criv. I'm guilty, by the way, but okay. <laughs> you just want to drop. <laughs> You're not even hiding it. <laughs> oh, the bodies? Oh, yeah, no, they, you, you've already dealt with that. I, I just haven't moved them yet. He blatantly keeps telling you you're not listening to him. <laughs> oh, there's just a mountain of bodies now in, in the morgue. Oh, I'm just going to drag Dalmia over in here and uh, everyone can come hang out in the uh, in the place. He's, he's asleep. <laughs> Still, he slept all day. All right. Yeah, you can you can grab him and truck him through the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, everyone, everyone grab a seat at the table. And we will leave it there and pick it up at this moment next time. Yeah. Tiny one. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's in jail now. <laughs> All right, you you can do that, and we'll we'll do your leveling up um, another time. Um, so yeah, uh, for anyone watching at home, thanks for watching. If this ever sees the light of day, that is. Uh, anyone have any last message before I turn off the recording? <laughs> oh, what was that? Yep. Who, who's writing up the police report for today? All right. We'll, we'll do the same then next week. All right. Good night.